The go-kart place where I have my games is getting an arcade upstairs. They got some games in. We have to see if we can get them ready before opening day tomorrow. All right, so first thing I wanna show here, guys, check this out. So they got a bunch of prizes in, look at this. So a lot of these will be for tickets. Some are gonna go in the claw machines. Here, look at all these jumbo squishies, guys, look. <laughs> That's crazy. Soft plus sharkies. I like how they did this. So look at this. We got the LEDs and the, these are the smaller prizes here with some bigger stuff too. And uh, we got spiky balls. And, and then we got some of the bigger stuff back here. So look at like racing helmets. This is a really good idea. Eventually I think he's going to do so where you can redeem tickets for actually a race, which I think is genius, you know, because that's easy. So yeah, he's got a lot of cool stuff for starters. By the time I get this video out, everything is going to be open. Uh, but we're filming this on a Tuesday and there closed. They're letting us come in. We're showing you guys a lot of behind the scenes today. And we're also going to be playing that coin pusher. That key is on the edge. So that is their uh, prize counter. And then their registration and everything is going to be here. And then you can also register at these uh, kiosks here. So really a big transformation. If you're wondering where my little diamond is at, follow me. So this is where he's had like his other games before. So everything's going to be in here. This is staying down here and it's actually staying on coins and bills. So it's going to be more of like a retro a little arcade hangout place here. So my stacker's here next to the uh, coin pusher in this room. And then my little diamond, we actually moved over to here. So uh, I think it goes well here. And like I said, these games will just be the games on the bills and coins. And then the games all on the card swipers will be upstairs. So not only can you watch races up here, look at this, you can watch the go-karts flying by, look at this. Like I said, they're getting tons more games. This is just the ones that they got in. They're gonna be all on the wall and everything so it's gonna look sweet with all the light from the games up here it's gonna look amazing uh, especially the racing games like wow that's crazy so prize locker he told me is the only one that we would have to do coins and we might even be able to just go and flick the coin mech to give us some credits to test it i don't know if there's really much it needs test because it is a skill game they just got to fill this with prizes they didn't send them the right card reader we've had that issue before but they'll get that up and run eventually but we're gonna test some of these games guys just to see if it's good if it's too easy, if it's too hard, because we got to find that balance. It's all about balance. And they got some games that a lot of these other arcades don't have, like Plinko. How cool is this? This is actually the smaller version. It just fits. I think it's nine feet tall. He got this really cool jet pong. This is neat. We saw this at IAPA. He got my awesome power roll and uh, beanbag toss here. I'm terrible at this game, but we'll see what happens. Let's start with Basketball Pro. So we got 20 credits, which is about a buck a play. I think that's good there. I don't think he has to change that. And I'm gonna test each side too, because I want to make sure that the pumpers are working and everything. So 40 seconds. Oh my, oh my God. Dude, this pumper is like insane. I think this game could be a little bit louder, so I'm gonna go in and turn it up after this. He actually gave me the master key, guys, which is insane. All right, here's them six pointers, as you know. So this one, it looks like defaults maybe to 40 seconds. I gotta beat 174. We got it. Nice! 186 jackpot! Look at that, first jackpot ever at the 3 RK new arcade. It's not even open yet, guys. 575 smackers! Let's see, it is adding them, so I don't know. Look how it's counting the tickets, too. That's really cool. I love the retro, like, text and everything. That's, that's cool. So now I'm gonna try this side. That side was on point. Pumpers are working good. It's registering all the balls, which is good. Sometimes it's just, you might just need to clean them sensors or if it's a bad sensor back here. Let's see if we can hit this 189. Let's see, we gotta pump quick here. And again, I'm testing this to see if it's too easy, too hard. We gotta find that balance there. Wow, 210 I was able to get, that's crazy. So there's double jackpots right there, guys. Dude, is it too easy? I don't know. Now, obviously not everybody's gonna be able to do that. This game does take practice, and there's times where I can't even, you know, get it even with 40 seconds. 40 seconds is, is definitely on the easier mode, but again, this is where I'm terrible at, is his ticket to prize cost ratio. So that's what he's gonna have to kind of mess with here. See, now the big score to beat is 210, so it definitely gets tough. It is definitely is an easier game to hit, and I'm, I'm gonna note that for him so he can kind of tweak it how he feels, but this is definitely one of the easier 100% skill games that people can really win tickets on, you know, if they're really good at it. But I think it's a great game for here because you're gonna get like adults that wanna compete, they don't care about the tickets, and you're gonna get like goobers and dingleberries like me that want the tickets, and it's just a great game, I think. He actually gave me the master key, guys, to this game, so let's open it up and see if we can crank that volume up a little bit. Now, I've never tinkered with a lot of these games, guys, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. There's volume right here. Whoa, that's loud. There we go. Perfect. 
Cool, let's go on to Plinko. All right guys, we're gonna take a quick break from testing the games. We're gonna be right back to them, but there is a key on the edge of this coin forger, and if we win it, it unlocks a Fitbit Sense, and uh, we're gonna see if we can win it. I got $10 and quarters for starters here. We're just gonna throw them in, see what happens. We'll try to use that skill stop as much as we can here. And there's also like this weird little 50 cent piece collectible thing from 1972. It's in the corner, so I don't know, guys. Let's see if we can maybe make something happen here. All right, we got a bunch of coins loaded in the back here. I got the skill stop. Up. I'm gonna let it go and hopefully this gives us a good push here. Well, not bad. We're ultimately trying to see. We might at least get this little race car here if it doesn't slide back. All right, here we go. There's a bunch of, oh, good push on that left side. Oh, that was, a, that was a bunch on the middle there. Why is that still bunched up over there? It makes no sense. This one definitely takes in more money because it's harder to, you know, line them up. I got my, this is from the 10 bucks. I'm gonna use this up and then we're gonna count and see how much we got back. I'm just gonna put in three. Yeah, see, that pushed off some. Oh my God, that was nice there. That was a nice push, but still, can't believe that 50 cent piece ain't even moving, it's crazy. All right, now we're gonna see how much we got back. All right, let's test Plinko here. Thousand for the mega bonus. I, this one is definitely harder to hit because I've tried this at IAPA over and over and I couldn't hit it, so. I think a thousand might be a good starter there. And this game's a buck to play as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some notes on my phone on just some suggestions or things that kind of pop up. This game could definitely be priced, I think, a little bit more because it's more of like a premium game. It's kind of like a big bass wheel kind of game. So it'll vend up the chip there and then you press the button and it, oh, I almost had the multi plinko. Oh my God, I almost had the bonus. Dude, that would have been insane. And it looks like it increases one or two every time it goes up. So it's a 1,009. Let's see what it goes up to. Let's play again. Dude, that's the one to go in right there. Ah, oh, come on, B. Ah, oh. so as you'll notice, the higher values are on the outside. So the M and the S are 100, but that bonus gets that mega bonus, guys. So, and I'm also making sure that the readers are working. They're actually pretty quick to scan. Like there's not much lag in between. Try over here. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Ah, oh, I got an E for 20 tickets. You guys know I'm a huge Plinko fan. I love the uh, physical aspect of this game. I love that it's not digital. You know, you're actually, you can hear the clink of the chip. It's a great game. It, it's tough to hit. Yeah, you know what, maybe I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know, a buck might be good for this game. I'll suggest 30 credits. Try early. Let's see if that gets us to the B. Oh, so close. Jeez. Here we go. Come on, B! Oh, it is tough to hit that bonus. I definitely think a thousand as the uh, base for this bonus is perfect. Tougher game, a lot of luck involved. You can see, you know, I'm dropping it on that second one and it's just missing it. So even the multi chips are tough to get. We'll do one more play here. All right, let's see. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, the S would have been nice for 100, but we got 20. Plinko, I think, is good. I don't think anything needs Plinko. I might suggest to him to just pay attention to the pricing. If it's paying out too many tickets, he can always make it 30 credits, but I think Plinko's on point. So this is Jet Pong. Never seen this, guys. Never played this on my channel, at least. Let's see what this is all about here. Press green flashing button to start game. Nothing's flashing. More credits, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if he realizes that. Yeah, because that shouldn't be $4 to play. That screen's weird, too. I don't think that's supposed to be displaying that. I don't know. That's weird. I'm going to have to let him know about that. That definitely shouldn't be 4 bucks. All right, here. Now watch this. It actually, it's, this is so cool. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Look. How cool is it? Guys, it's like magic. Look at this. You take it, now watch. I'm terrible at Pong, so. And then you press the button to, it bends up another ball. Is that cool or what? Whoa! I suck. <laughs> oh, look how good, dude. Oh, bruh. Oh, it was like a double bounce. Look at that. Ah, oh. yep, gotta get back. And I suck. That's really cool. Oh, look at that, Swisheroni. 15 tickets, so I got to I don't know if there's a jackpot on this. I want to try this side to see if it gives me the same, making me swipe four times. It shouldn't be four bucks for this. Now see, this side, this side's scanning for home too. What if we want to do away? I'm going to note that for him. Unless, maybe if I swipe now, let's see if it adds the red one. 
Yeah, that's what it should be. So it should be, you swipe once, green can play, you swipe twice, and then the red can play. But it's requiring four for each one, so that's definitely not right. So we'll let him know about that. We'll try this one more time here, guys, see if we can uh, do better than what I did. We'll see what happens. Whoa, we got two of them, look at this. It's like further away than the other one. I'm not used to it. Oh, look at that first one's tough to get. That was nice. Sick. You really got, oh, you can kind of bank it off that too. That might be the trick. Oh, that was so close. Jet Hong. Oh my gosh, Swish. Man, we're killing it now. Oh, look at this Swish. What if you get them all? You get power bonus. Now, I don't know. I don't, I think it's more of like a for fun kind of game, but I think this will do well here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Four more. And I only got one ball left. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. wonder why it didn't give me the... So I got 30 tickets that time. I definitely did better. I'm gonna have to let him know about that too. It wasn't giving me the last ball. All right, now we're gonna try power roll. 500, that's usually what I see these at. Let's see and if this one's on point. See if we can hit power roll. And I got 12 tickets. Oh, that was way too hard. <laughs> Horrendous. I'm gonna crank this up just a little bit. Volume five, tells you how many tickets are paid. How cool is that? Watch this. Oh. Hurry up. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hurry up. Am I adding plays? See, that's why you read the manual before you tinker with menus, Matthew. Now it'll give us a chance to test it. Hurry up. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah, a little bit harder. Come on, get past there. Oh, dude. Oh, that's gonna be close. There it is, Shabang. Super bonus. There it is, guys, right there. Nice, look at that, super bonus. So at least we know the bonus works, <laughs> Shabang. I'm gonna use these credits up and then I gotta do something since I have the key. I gotta feel the weight of that ball. I've never had a chance to do this. I'm really curious, like the weight, the texture and stuff. So I'm gonna use these credits up, guys, and then we're actually gonna take the ball out of power roll to see what it's like. This is gonna be insane. So now we're going to figure out how many uh, quarters we got back from at $10. $6.50, that's about the average. It, this machine usually holds about 40 some percent per $10. I don't know, it's crazy. Let's throw this in and see if we can work any of this stuff off more here. I'm just gonna put in a few at a time, see if we can get some good pushes here. Yeah, there's some that fell over there. Oh, those three coins pushed that much, see? I, Maybe less is more on this thing, guys. I don't know. I'd say maybe a buck max. You don't want to overlap them, you know? Like three is still giving us a decent push. We got gap there, I mean, but still. Come on, push, good push, good push. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple more, ooh, on that side, come on. Bruh. All right, so this is almost it here for the 650 or whatever that original amount was. All right, last coin from the ones we got back and then we'll see where we're at. Oh, we got nothing. This is gonna be a lot worse, I think. Let's see how much we got in return from that session. Can we hit it again? Oh, oh it was close. Too hard. Oh, just passed it. I'm kind of actually glad I racked up these plays because I do want to test it. If this is too easy, then you know we might have to change something, but so far it's pretty normal. Oh, that's gonna be close. Push your bang, another 500 smackaroonies. I don't know guys, might be too easy. Let's see if we can get it back to back. Too light. I knew as soon as I let it go, darn it. Hey, this one I feel like you gotta do a little bit harder, you know, but I, every machine's different, you know, so you just gotta get that strike point, you know. It's definitely, you gotta pull it back a little bit more. Oh, oh my God, I'm, so, I'm just missing it like too little. Nah, not hard enough again. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. I gotta, I get, we gotta get in and get the ball, guys. Come on, we have the key. How often do you get to do this? <laughs> this is crazy. So this is how it comes out here. The glass just pops out like this. Now, unfortunately, you're behind the screen here, so I'm gonna try and describe this as best as I can because we were able to do this with Dizzy Chicken, too, so. What do you think, Donnie? Is it gonna be like a pool ball? Is it gonna be heavy or light? A rubber bouncy ball. Rubber bouncy ball? No, I think it's, I think it's like glass or plastic. 
Yeah, that's it's that's kind of what I thought it was. Yeah, it's like an acrylic plastic there. It, it's definitely got some weight to it. I'd say it's maybe about a pound or two. So maybe that'll give you a little bit of an idea here. Let's clean it up, make it all nice and shiny. Look at that. Yeah, that's neat. And then when it goes over this sensor, see this little sensor right here, guys? That's how it knows that the ball's in the home position. See, I like this game because you can you get a really good feel of this plunger thingy. You know, it's about right here. Boom. That was awesome. The power roll ball, guys. We've never gotten a chance to see what it's like but yeah it's like a acrylic kind of ball pretty neat so let's put our uh thing back in here and go on to the next game all right beanbag toss i'm terrible at it guys but i'm gonna try my best let's see what happens now this you definitely want red's the highest value let's see here whoops we gotta get those ones in a row <laughs> blue green bonus oh look at that get that green come on red Wow, she's not doing too much. I wonder why the belt stopped moving. Oh, that's weird. Let's see what my score is, guys. Gotta beat 51,000 to win the jackpot. Wow, close, look at this. Oh, oh my God, I will crap my pants. Bruh, I was so close. I didn't even do that good. Nah, that might be a little too easy because you're gonna get people that come in here. I know a guy that, I'm wondering why that belt stopped moving though. I still had plays left and it just stopped moving, so. Let's try again and see if that happens again. All right, we have bags ready to go. Let's see if we can hit that jackpot this time. Ugh. Come on, red. You want to alternate red and blue. That's the trick on this thing. Oh, there must be like a sensor or something. There are only been so many of them. Yeah, I, I think I did worse, ironically, but I got two reds, so let's see if that will do us any better here. Yeah, we might have it here. This is gonna be close. Yeah, shabang! 500 smackaroonies right there, guys. And then 55,000, which somebody that's, you know, half decent can get that. He might want to tweak that. Cause like if I hit, now obviously when you first start these games and nobody really plays them, the, the jackpots are, are low. So it might take a little bit for him to see his numbers first to see how he's doing. I am going to let him know uh, that it might be a little too easy. He, he can either, you know, raise the target bonus, like the default or uh, change like the tickets. I would maybe keep it at 500 tickets, but maybe raise the target bonus to maybe 60,000 as like a baseline. Because like if doofus me can hit this game, guys, I guarantee you other people will be able to hit this like I'm terrible at this game and I, I just hit it in two plays so I'm definitely gonna make note of that for him all right guys so he has big buck hunter reloaded so this one you can choose like all kinds of things you can like shoot zombies and all kinds of stuff. really cool so shebang here we go this is my kind of buck hunter right here with zombies <laughs> do the headshots nice <laughs> I'm terrible at this <laughs> Shouldn't there be something on the screen or no? Maybe maybe it doesn't have it. I don't usually play these that much, but I feel like there should at least be something on there. <laughs> Shooting the chickens! Zombie chickens. Oh my God, <laughs> that was awesome. Ah, oh, I died, that was cool. So you can continue, that's neat. See, I feel like there should be that on the screen. Maybe there isn't though, I don't know. I'll note it, like I said guys, I don't play these that much, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but maybe there's an option to put the site on there. I think it would be better. For me, it was just a little weird to kind of see where you were shooting that but very cool works like a charm all right so let's see what we made definitely lost so we got 325 so we're just going down and down and down let's keep trying i guess oh, just one coin yeah look at that see that one coin knocked off almost a buck so you just never know i just can't get anything maybe it's leaning to the right i don't know anymore yeah a couple more off the center yeah they keep i keep overlapping them like a doofus let's see oh. There's a couple off, come on. See, it's just not, it's weird how they're just getting bunched up over there like that. And we got gapped on the last two, so we're probably down by half again. One dollar and 50 cents, lovely. Just keep throwing it in there. That's a good three right there on that left side. But see, then sometimes they fall too much. It's a little push, but I wonder if I should just load them up, double stack them. Yeah. Oh, bruh, that's it. We are broke as a joke. Let's go try some Gravity Hill. All right, up next is Nitro Trucks. I love the LEDs on this game. It just really makes the arcade glow like crazy. Press start. Wow, I like the experience, like vibrating and everything. Oh, you can upgrade it, that's neat. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh, you can ram them, that's neat. 
Oh my lord, I'm terrible at racing games. Oh my god, my car is actually getting damaged. How cool is that? Oh my god, we got some air there. This is the final lap here, guys. And I suck. I suck at racing games, I really do. That was pretty neat, I got fifth though. Hey, at least I wasn't last. Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. Shabang. I like it, I like the upgrade too, like the upsell if you get more power, so. That's really cool, love it. I think it's great, I don't think you need to change anything with this. All right, Super Bikes 3 we're at now, guys. Another racing one. Whoa, look at this, two front wheels, what the heck? This one has an upgrade as well, so we'll do that. Oh look, another photo. Camera's a little blurry. That one's like really blurry. We're gonna have to maybe see if he can change that. There might be a way to go in and calibrate that camera. Go! Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, there's actually wind. You can feel the wind. Oh my God, that's awesome. Just little things like that, you know, that make it kind of interesting. Oh my God, there's a big, what is that, a donut? Dude, that's awesome! God, now I'm craving donuts, dang it. Come on, we're second! Oh, first place, look at that shebang! First freaking place, baby, the racing pro right here. Oh, do I get another race? Oh, swipe to race, okay. Very neat. I'm gonna let him know about that camera. Let's try this one and see if the camera's janky. I wonder if there's a way to tilt that down. Yeah, because it's like real high, look at that. If the little kid's on this, he ain't gonna be able to. That one's doing it too, so we're gonna let him know that kind of both the cameras are a little bit blurry on this, but uh, we'll see, there might be a way to go in the settings and adjust that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna note it for him though. So we also noticed that I, I can't hear this at all on this side, so I'm gonna see if I can turn this up while this is still going here. Here's volume right here. There we go, that's better. That was on 10, I'm gonna up that to 12 too. All right, let's go on to the final game. All right guys, this is a classic game. I don't own this machine. The kid that owns that little teeny tiny claw machine has this one down here. I think this is really cool because you don't see this game too often here. But I remember this back in the day when, when I was just getting into arcades, they would have this game and it's so difficult and it still is. I could never even get the small prize, but let's see. Maybe we can change that today, guys. You gotta guide the ball up and you can't drop it off the hill just like I did, or your turn is over. If you get it up to the small prize, you get a soccer ball, you get a puffer ball for the uh, big prize. So let's see if we can gravity hill this little goober up here. And you're on a timer too, so you only have so much time. You gotta go real quick over that, see like that. This is tough, because you can't go too much. If I can get a small, if I can get a small prize, I will be happy. All right, the final game, Jurassic Park. Since these are all real similar, these like, the volume's the same thing. The sound in here is amazing. Give it a swipe -a here. Ooh, that's weird. Something's up with that. I'm gonna have to let him know about that. Let's see if it does it in here. Yeah, it's still, that might be a calibration. Calibration thing. See, when it's up air, it's fine. When it's a third of the way down on the screen, it's being janky. It shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, look, I can't even shoot him. Oh, look, now it's not even going up. Look, yeah, the calibration's way off on this thing. But see, that's why we're testing this, guys. This is very important when you get these, because these games, when you get them, even though they're brand new, uh, you know, sometimes they just don't work right off the bat, and you gotta do a little bit of tweaking, so this is definitely not right here. All right, so we're not gonna continue on that side. I wanna see if player two's doing it as well. So let's try this side. No, see, that's normal. That's how it should be right there. So it might just be a little calibration issue. I think this could be a little louder, too, the gameplay. I don't know why. I could have sworn I turned it up. There we go. That's the sound we're looking for. Shot. Ah, oh, I suck. Sounds better. That side's fine. We gotta figure out what's up with this side. Let's go give the results to Daryl. All right, guys. So we got Daryl up here. We're gonna go over some of the uh, things that we had noted for him. I think we're gonna start with Jurassic World. So the red side, the crosshair was all jumpy. I don't know if there's a way to go in the settings and maybe calibrate it or what. <laughs> Should be gun calibration. Yeah, but see, I need the gun to get... Oh, you can do it there. There you go. Aim to the top left screen and press fire. Bottom right screen, press fire. Whoops, I think we missed the step. See, mine's still jumping. Aim at the bottom right, press fire. Nope, still doing it. So, you might have to contact Betson with that. I wonder if I do a hard reboot. You can try that. All right, moment of truth. So still doing it. Guys, so I got into the menu. The super bikes was the issue we had with the camera was blurry. You can actually change the size position. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, that's too high. Here, why don't you sit there, Donnie, if you don't mind? We gotta lower that a little bit. Cause that's like way too high. If a little kid sits there, it's gonna be weird. Maybe it'll be in more in focus now. I don't know. I don't think no. these are the best of cameras. No, that's nah. why I said they're potatoes. Potatoes. That was the only thing on that one. I guess it doesn't let you control the uh, focus. 
Nothing biggie, it's just something I noted. Daryl's gonna be our test subject here, guys. <laughs> The cameras on here are nice and they're the same thing. Same company, same camera and everything. Daryl's playing the extreme one here. Man, you're good at this. I'm so terrible at these. I'm always wrecking into the thing and I just can never steer. Oh, I jinxed them. Start nitro. There you go. Now you're getting boosted. You can change the view too. That's neat. I gotta win. I gotta win. I gotta win. I had first place. You got first, nice. Dude, he, that was extreme too, that's crazy. I made Buck Hunter a little louder. Uh, the only thing with Buck Hunter is, does it not display crosshairs when you're aiming the gun? Uh, I didn't see it, but I, there might be an adjustment for it. I think you gotta actually aim. Yeah. Like a real gun. Maybe that's just the way it is, all right. It's realistic. Beanbag toss might be a little too easy because I hit it second try, but again, you just got these games, so the score to beat as you keep winning the jackpot gets higher. It was at like 51,000. I'm not the best at this game, and the fact that I hit it in two plays. Try it. Yeah, now it's 55,000. You gotta get try and get three. Oh wait, something happened here. Tilt, that's weird. You didn't even move it. There's probably a tilt bobber in here. Did you bump it? Where's that tilt bobber at? Where are you at, you little goober? Oh, it says we're ready to play. That's weird. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah. Now if you foul, it resets, so you don't want to foul. So you got blue streak bonus, now go for the red. Three times. Oh, bruh! See, it's blinking. There you go, now go blue. Go blue, bruh. Oh, one. oh, see, when you foul, then it resets. I'm just saying, you're gonna get people in here that are good at this. Experiment with it. If, if you notice it's hitting too much, maybe raise that. I said, suggested the 60 as a base. All right, here we go. It's an all skill game. It's just gravity, literally. I've gotten that figured out. The tough part is, oh, come on, I went too much. No, I won't get it next time, because I suck and this game is too hard. All right, let's try again. Game's trying to give me confidence here. Oh, look at that. All right, you gotta go easier here. This timer makes me nervous. Oh, I think I know what you gotta do. You can maybe not swing it there and just kinda, all right, this is crazy. I never worked so hard in my life for a plastic soccer ball. Guiding it up, guiding it up. All right, quick here. Yeah, see that one I got down pat, it's just. Right, let's see if I go like this. Nah. Oh, oh mama. Oh, mama. Dude, this could be it right here. Oh my God. 10 seconds. Dude, I got a small prize. I've never made it up there before. I don't care. It's a little plastic soccer ball. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, next turn start and we can't be crapping around. Let's see if we can get the grand prize now, guys. That's tough when you're up because how are you supposed to not get it in the small prize one? I, I'm kind of getting this down pat. I think with practice, ah, oh, doofus. Practice, I could maybe, you know, but uh, hey, we got a small soccer ball and I'll use this actually on one of my little claw machines, a little claw key rings on my website. That's Gravity Hill, guys, classic. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever won this game before. It's obviously possible, just very difficult because once you get it there, you gotta just miss the small prize and, oh, that's tough. Maybe next time. Power roll seemed fine. You got the jackpot on it? Yeah, a couple times, but you know, if it's paying too much, I've seen this game at a higher premium, so maybe you could do 30 credits. So you gotta pull it, there's a, like kind of a strike right, yeah. point, a little bit more, a little, right at the edge of that flashing thing, that's too much. Close, a little bit lighter, you would've had it. It's a tough game, but again, you might get doofuses like me that come in and, yeah. nah, but sometimes I can't hit this, so it's hit or miss. Again, but it's just one to keep an eye out on. This is pretty good. These pumpers are on point, so you don't have to do it hard. It's giving us 43 seconds. That was weird. I gotta see what the single player gives you. Cause 40 is definitely a little generous. If you notice it's paying out too much, you can lower that to 30 seconds. But again, as you win more, the score to beat gets, it gets harder. Like winning 210 is pretty tough here. Oh, double, double, I beat it! Shebang! But see, I don't win a jackpot because we were in versus mode. So it gives, it only gave me a couple tickets. Oh no, maybe it does give it to me. Yeah, it is giving it to me. Okay, never mind. See, now five, 222 is top, even on 40 seconds. If you notice it's paying too much, just lower it to 30 and then they'll have to play more to get that score to win lower. This one, it's requiring four swipes to play on each one. I don't think you wanted it like that, right? No, I do not. We gotta figure that out. I didn't go. Oh look, red. After I go, then you go. Oh. Oh, I have I to hit it. it. I got it. I got <laughs> it. Oh, you have to hit it. Oh, I see. Oh, so it keeps track. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, wow. 
I'm not a big alcoholic drinker, guys. I, I didn't. This is Kool Aid. Oh, for the love of God. Haven't any of you ever been in a cult before? I didn't go to a lot of frat parties in my college days. Uh, there's a see, problem. Yeah, see, that was happening too, where it wasn't giving me the last. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, it's they might be getting stuck or something. Ooh, oh, wow. Off the rim. Is there a way to load more balls? I feel like there's not enough there's balls. There's a lot of balls. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's not right. Is it skipping your turn, you know? <laughs> yeah, see, sometimes they're getting stuck, maybe. And then it just. Oh, we have to look at that. Yeah. And I noticed that happened more like on the last turn, like I wasn't able to get a ball. I'm curious about the pricing thing. The price I got just on the other end. Oh, there's all the balls. And this is supposed to go like that. Uh, maybe there's too many balls in there. Yeah, maybe it's too much weight. Yeah, I don't think you need that many. Oh, go push her. What, that piece of wood? Yeah. It's getting stuck, right? How could they? You pay all this money for a game, and, it, and it, like, how, wh who, like, what doofus would put that piece of wood in the ball thingy? Yeah, Good catch, Daryl. But see, it's just little stupid stuff like that is why you, you know, you gotta kinda tinker with these things. All right, I gotta fix that. Well, at least yeah, you know. All right, guys, so we're in the uh, jet pong settings here. This is for the reader itself, so go down. Okay, so coin pulses might need to be on four. Why? Because every time it would say one out of four, two out of four. For some reason, the machine is set on four or whatever. All right, moment of truth. Did we fix the pricing issue with Jet Pong? Let's see. So one thing should go cling, cling, cling. Nope. Hmm. It's got to be a setting in the game. Number of credits for one person to play. That needs to be changed to one. That should be it right there. I, I figured it was something simple. Yeah, see, my balls aren't popping. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's it's not doing it long enough, you know what I mean? That's what's that's what's happening. The solenoid's not holding out long enough. And that's why it's spitting out that's why it's spitting out too sometimes. Yeah, see look, yep. That's our answer. That's it guys, right here. First look at the uh, 3RK arcade. So that was, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A lot of really cool behind the scenes. I know some of you guys enjoy the behind the scenes stuff. That's unfortunately what happens when, even when you get these games brand new, there's always something wrong with some of them. So <laughs> good thing we tested. So he knows to tag out the games that can be tagged. I think you can still have Jurassic Park on, just tag out that left side. Uh, the Pong game is a not different story, but again, you know, just little things you get through and once it's working, hopefully. Everything else is pretty good. He's got a ton more games coming guys so stay tuned we'll probably be up here testing again once he gets the claw machines and all the other really cool unique games that a lot of the other arcades in the pittsburgh area don't have so that's cool we'll be able to film a lot of awesome stuff here so big thanks to darrow of 3rk he's amazing for letting us come in here and, and film and do this so thank you daryl rkmat.com plush and prizes for sale and i'm on tiktok arcade underscore matt mystery matt second channel Third channel, Gaming Matt. Fourth channel, Matt Sleeping. No, I don't have a fourth channel. All right, guys, that's going to do it. And like we always say, thanks for watching.